good day everyone uh well this is a filler video so what can we say well if you're seeing what you're seeing here on the screen and it's nice so today we are here in a singapore island island state development now essentially this is the map for uh the singapore youth general aviation community uh it used to be called singapore youth flying club we rebranded uh the, you know i'm one of the developers here i did help with some of their uh, developmental stuff. I mean, definitely not much on the map. I did do help with the, some of their aircraft and etc. But I did do some modifications. So anyway, um, this is gonna be a tutorial video on how you know to get started within the uh, Discord and Roblox group link will be in the description below. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna walk through first with our uh, walk through the gates with the fountain with the horn of lilies. Walk through a Piper Twenty Eight model. Um, for this one, I was actually trying to find a DA40 model. We have one, just that we haven't converted it to a static model, so something like this. Uh, so I just duplicated the PA28 on the other side for now. But anyway, moving into Skylux 21's Youth Aviation Gallery, uh, we're gonna go into the equipment room, and then we're gonna equip ourselves with a shirt. And there is Kine right there, just one of the few pilots are also in the group. We have about 100 plus, so numbering more. Depends, I haven't checked. But so yeah, essentially we equip this. Uh, Shirt of ours, safety vest, and then our headset. Yep, there you go. Uh, and then we move into this is a dispatch, essentially where you would fill out your forms and you know for flying, etc. You've got a simulator room. We have actually have a, a screen for this and decal. We just haven't added it yet. So yeah, this is just like in uh, the whole thing. If you've got projectors, make your mistakes here, not in the air. Definitely you want to do that and not anywhere else. This is the briefing room where you brief on what's gonna happen for today, you know, are you gonna do circuit patterns or anything. So we move out here into this lush, sort of lush field, I guess. And then, you know, uh, I know Kain's messaging me, I just need to, you know, I just wanna ignore that for a sec. And then now we're gonna insert our aircraft. Alright, so now we have our plane spawn. Uh, now there's a variety of planes to choose from, from DA-40s to Piper-28s, but today I'm just going to give you the basic, which is the D Diamond-40. Now, the Diamond-40 is a single-engine piston aircraft um, created by Diamond Aircraft Industries in Austria. Now, Diamond Aircraft Industries is actually have one of the largest wingspans for any general aviation plane in available, if I'm correct, because uh, they used to make gliders, so this is like a glider wing, very big. So what we've got here is Niner Vector U Yankee... Foxtrot Charlie, uh, a bit ru rusty. Uh, this is a mesh aircraft. We imported it from uh, Free Three D. Yeah, for f yeah. So it's a nice one. Uh, yeah. So what we're gonna do first is obviously remove our tags. You know, the remove before flight tags covers essentially basic thing would be it's for the different sensors available that you know keep the aircraft flying and if they have any issues right yeah then you know and it happened yeah then you know uh, trouble's gonna happen with you then obviously you're gonna do have for the uh, calling session to sell not really familiar with piston aircraft but definitely yeah you need to keep beehives etc out of it so by the way uh, we also remove these real covers because they do not actually have them in uh, SIFC in real life so yeah and uh, all of them are named Skylark don't think it's just one aircraft it's all we also need to remove the chocks all right and uh, next thing we're gonna do is actually oh my a far flight plan obviously you can do the any every other thing before that uh, but the most important is to far flight plan every time so since you're flying a SYC or SYGAC aircraft you're gonna always start off with Skylark then I'm just gonna put in my random number which is 25 your aircraft would be DA40 so you can put it as DA-40 DA40 or even Diamond DA-40 which I'm gonna just do DA40 dash because I, I do it this way then our registration we will follow the one that's on the tail of the aircraft not any uh, other types so Niner Vector Yankee Foxtrot Charlie then we're gonna do a departure from Selita, Selita which is a WSSL Whiskey Sierra Sierra Lima and we're gonna do a circuit pattern just for show so yeah so our two will also be a what, Whiskey, se uh, Salita, Sal Whiskey Sierra Sierra Le Lima not Whiskey Selita Selita Lima <laughs> um, definitely there are multiple airports like Pi Labour 
tengah tengah in development sembawang but you know these will be for future developments on how to fly the other aircrafts uh, although do some do some do come with GUI some not depends we always use a basic skytech green kit and mod on from there uh, our rule obviously be visual flight rule which is C and avoid um Although because we're doing a circuit pattern, we're going to put C slash P to identify that we're doing a circuit pattern. Now we're going to do is obviously pop the note. Uh, it's best to play in uh, P uh, laptop, you know, PC. Definitely, you can also play this on mobile. SkyTech is supported for mobile. Just we haven't configured it for mobile yet. So yeah, this is for your cockpit and your two seat. This is actually all real in real life. All the steps, etc. This is the side window you want to have for your passengers. It seats about four people. As for normal, now we're going to go here. You can see the engine is placed here. That's why we are in the middle here. You can see the G1000 and everything is all there. So we're going to close this. Now, in order to start, you know, using all these like taxi lights, etc., we're going to first apply a sparking brake. Parking brake is essentially a freeze in the uh, studio tanks, and then we turn on master and avionics. That way, it starts our batteries essentially. And from there, you're, you're able to en engage things like taxi lights, navigational lights. Let me just remove my binoculars. Tail lights, beacon lights, beacon if you didn't realize, and landing lights. And we can also configure our flaps. Take off and landing. Now, what we're going to do is start our engine. Vroom, vroom. Um, there's a click to flip button for a reason now. This on off button, uh, but the bottom left together, like, just below click to flip, is uh, you know, for your flight plan. And to press delete is to delete your flight plan. I'm not gonna touch that. And that is to the right now. If you wanna press, if you wanna hide or display the panel, just press Q. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disengage parking brake. Oh, no. Now, we're gonna do so. We're gonna start texting. This is a SkyTech plane kit with fuel. Fuel is limited to about 0 0.001, 0001. But the fuel flow is uh, especially reduced since we've got a revamped map. Everything in Cellar is the same. This is the SYC shed. These are the uh, hangers you have seen over there. Over there, over there. Some of them are added in by our devs. Some of them are. And this is uh, some of them are like over here are the Bombardier and Airbus ones. Right? Yeah, this is Bombardier and then the other should be Airbus. Correct? So yeah. And I think over here should be wings over here. Uh, this is the Senator Tower. We haven't ever even, even added in Senator's uh, you know, um, terminal that will probably be operated by Fireflies before the pandemic. So, anyway, we're gonna taxi on to runway 03. We are from the shed. We taxi on Whiskey Papa to Whiskey 4403. Uh, we do also host ATC sessions. You can also see the monthly here Whiskey Papa, Whiskey 4. Uh, yeah, so. A, we, if you don't know, not know, we also hold ATC sessions. Uh, you know, and in which these ATC sessions we will use this code VC and then we're gonna watch that and then you know, we'll communicate on certain things. And uh, yeah, we do have a bit of a taxi way glitch occasionally. So that's what the clip the clip the air is for. And this is not unintentional. This is because uh, the play model, right? Like, okay, some other play uh, models they do actually work fine on these taxi ways. The only issue is that sometimes because if the center of gravity, the way the robots can figure that it's too high and we can't change them. That's why. Right. So yeah. So here we have whiskey 4, holding shot, and 0 3. So we're just gonna line up because we have no ATC. And you can see we also have puffy lights. And it's the Airbus and the bigger hangar. Bombardier and the small one. I don't know who will remove the A from Bombardier, but. So we're gonna take off. Um, now the takeoff speed for this is 60. Starts. In Skytex terms, we are on a base altitude of 47. Uh, yeah, so if you want, so the good thing about Skytex is you allow for mouse control, but unlike others, you know, your mouse control can be turned off by pressing A. And now, another thing with mouse is you see that we are just in between, right? There's always this bit, so we always put one up. Take off flaps, landing light, stroke light, beacon light, left light, field light by the runway. If not, if you have ready, you know, but before you are even at the runway, you can set nav light, taxi light, and then tail light. Stroke, beacon, and landing, which are on this three side here, is to be activated upon holding shot runway. Now that we've taken off, 
we can bring out our flaps. Now this has a maximum speed of 200 studs. And uh, you can do a gentle bank go around. No, uh, everything's fine. We're gonna take a left-handed circuit pattern out of zero three. So it's a very simple thing. You know, the controls are simple. You don't have any gears for now. Most of our planes are actually fixed, uh, fixed gear. We don't have any with. Well, not that we approve of, other than unless you are an admin. You know, unless you are an admin, then you know you get to fly at the other types. But if not, you know, we will stick to DA4, the CT4, which all have static gears, so they don't retract or something. So, SYFC in real life actually operates um, Diamond DA40s in real life, used to operate Piper 28s. Um, and for trial purposes, they operated, I think, a, few, a handful of uh, CT forks now, of which we have. Now, what we have also included by ourselves is Cessna 172s from the Singapore Flight uh, College, which is actually based in Perth and is for admin issues Singapore Airlines pilots. Uh, but we're making the base leg, so it's in our landing lights and flaps. Uh, and, and, uh, and also, we also have that. Just so that we can actually have a bit more variety, and we also do have uh, service SR22s. Those are um, a convert kit from an FM. Uh, we use that for you know uh, a bit of fun flying and also for an added GA aircraft as well. We do have other multiple others, you know, just that, uh, but they're more on the defense military side. Now those are for another military group of ours that. It's actually uh, created by the same founder, just that you know, we utilize the same map you know, for convenience. So now we're coming in for landing. The best is to come in at 32, 33, or 31 on the trooper's throttle. Because that's where you're just above that 60 storm up. You know? So you'll be able in a nice shape as well. You can see you've got two cirrus there. It's a very simple thing. And then you can you know, obviously see that I have minutes. Yeah, and kind of have minutes. Now these minutes accumulate so that you can unlock, you know, you know so that you can uh, have multiple other planes, you know, to fly. Things like Piper 28, you know, your basic is the DA40, and then you move on to Cessna 172, which is college Piper 28, then then CT40. Obviously, we have multiple others installed. We also have another subgroup coming in, the Changi Flying Group. Uh, that one is going to be also be a developmental hole together with the military, uh, military side because we are waiting for a lot of things to get done within there. You know, so in terms of like you know configuring it for use in Roblox, you know adding it into Roblox, putting it to playing kit, etc., etc. So yeah. Of his national service, you know, we can't. So, we're gonna put on a developmental break until he comes back on the weekends, which is in next week, you know, which is in you know, one week from when the video is posted. So, that's nice. 
So now you know we press P, standard, Skytech exit aircraft. Beautiful. Now what, what we're gonna do is access our toolbox and you can see that we actually have fuel hose. Uh things like salute, flag, bottle and ease, rope, baguette and sticks, you do not need to know. Although I will say the sticks is for essentially um ground crew, signal, stop, go, left, right, etc. So our fuel hose is this. Oh no, I haven't set this well. Yeah, okay, there you go. Now that we've fully stopped, we've got this fuel hose. Now all you've got to do is just place it over an area around the wing. And then it should start automatically refueling, because this is using the Skytech refueling system. Which means as soon as you go near the automatic refueling part, you know, it will be there. So, after being there for a while, I think we can test it out. Yeah, you've got fuel, fuel um, um, you know, incre uh, fuel back up to full, so, yeah, the fuel system works, definitely. Uh, you know, the best thing is uh, to just get someone, maybe an admin on the ground who's AFK, you know, to just help you refuel as you're inside, then you can actually double check, okay, is it left wing, you know, if you're still unsure, you know, or is it left wing, or is it right wing, you know, that's getting the fuel, and if you see that the left wing, or oh, the bar is increasing, then, yeah, that's good. So for now, this is the basic star standards to the DA-40. Uh, I'll give more on the other planes that have GUIs and I'll also showcase all the different aircraft within there. So if not then that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time on another filler video because now the situation is is that my camera the usual 38 millimeters to 42 millimeter yen uh, zoom lens that I use is broken and the others that I have are like 45 and 38 which are too sm uh, which do not fit well because I have to keep moving it back and forward which is really a uh, frustration and I tried to film one of the uh, models I'll give a spoiler now, it's an A330M RTT I tried to film it, it was a pain I had to, you know, and if I were to actually have it I had to do a lot of editing, so yeah, we wait for my camera to come back which is a week again, so from this video so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on my Instagram link in bio if not, I'll see you guys next time goodbye